heating up again in Washington as the president meets with Senate Republicans today in hopes of finding some common ground for negotiations to start from. Congresswoman Allison Swartz of Pennsylvania is a member of the House Budget Committee and a Democrat. She joins us now. Congresswoman, thank you. Good morning. Let me, uh, let me start with being a, a, a cynic here, a Washington cynic. I noticed that suddenly the debt ceiling deadline and the August recess deadline have somehow become <laughs> happened on the same day, August 2nd, essentially, toward the end of this. Is this going to be a game, a rhetorical game we're going to see, debt ceiling, deficit, all this back and forth? We're just going to see this play out through June and July until about the last two weeks before recess when everybody wants to go home? Well, uh, as you say, that uh, it does it does lead you to the, to believe that. But I certainly I believe that we ought to take care of uh, the debt ceiling uh, sooner than later. And look, none of us like the idea of raising the debt ceiling. Uh, it doesn't make any of us happy. Uh, we, you know, we want to get our fiscal house in order, but we cannot risk uh, the great risk that it would be to default on our loans and the full faith and credit of the United States. And it would be much better uh, in this fragile economy. Uh, it, we want to continue this fragile economy uh, growth. Uh, out of it uh, right. is to is to take care of it sooner, uh, create that certainty and predictability, and right. then move on to the big debates that, of course, we are going to continue to have about how to reduce this deficit and uh, get our fiscal house in order. Is it your expectation that this is going to be that in exchange for raising the debt ceiling, there are going to be new cuts to this budget and maybe the budget over the next couple of years? Well, the you know the Republicans have made it pretty clear they've drawn they seem to be drawing a line in the sand that uh, they don't really want to negotiate uh, the the budget the way we should not really negotiate how we reduce this uh, deficit not willing to put any kind of revenue raisers um, on on the table uh, is pretty limiting and the fact that they're using those kind of conditions on the debt ceiling is pretty dangerous uh, in the opinion not just mine and the Democrats but of course most economists in this country and most business leaders so um, I think it's pretty risky what they're doing. Uh, of course, uh, we, we take this pretty seriously. The White House takes very seriously right. uh, the concerns. So I think there will be some discussions. It would be my hope, and I think it would be better for the economy and for the American people if we actually left those kind of debates to a budget discussion. Are you comfortable letting the White House take the lead on this? And if they agree to some cuts, are you going to be just reluctantly agreeing to it? Or do you want the White House to be consulting more with House Democrats than they have? Well, we'd love to see the White House consulting more with, with House Democrats. Of course, as you suggest, we did as House Democrats uh, have to provide the votes to not shut down the government. Uh, you know, just a couple months ago, because uh, Republicans uh, who were negotiating this couldn't couldn't get the votes in their in their own uh, in their, on their own side. So yes, if they're going to need 40 or 50 or 60 votes from the Democrats uh, to lift the debt ceiling, again, as difficult as that is for us to to want to vote for that, uh, they ought to be talking to us. No, but do you think they're doing it enough? Well, I think they are, they're, they're right to start with the Senate Democrats. Uh, and of course, in that case, they need only the Senate Democrats, but they need a couple of Republicans on the Senate side. But again, I, I know that uh, it would, we would, we would very much appreciate, I think it would be right, uh, again, for the agreement we will ultimately reach, uh, is to bring in Senate, De to bring in House Democrats. All right, Congresswoman Allison Schwartz, a Democrat from Pennsylvania and on the Budget Committee, big player in all this. Thanks for joining us this morning. Thank you. All right, we want to quickly take you now. This is live pictures of the ninth annual Hispanic Justin, prayer, prayer breakfast. President Obama